everyone, welcome back to Juggling Gym. As always, I'm Logan. Hi, I'm Kirsten. And today we're gonna to show you some club passing tricks with a partner. Fun fact, Logan taught me how to club pass. And fun fact, Kirsten has gotten amazing at club passing from practicing a lot. So really excited to show you guys these tricks. We're passing clubs in a four count, which means that one out of every four throws is a pass to the other person. It's a relatively slow pattern, which means there are lots of fun tricks you can do with the extra time. The first trick is an on-time double. You throw a club one beat early and twice as high so that it gets to the other person at the same time as usual. Note that you throw with your left hand instead of your right, and the club crosses instead of going straight across. Another great trick is under the leg, which as usual is an audience favorite. You can also throw on-time doubles continuously. If you sync up with your partner, it looks really good. Just make sure to communicate beforehand about when you're going to start and how many double throws you're going to do. Another type of double is a late double. You pass with your right hand like normal, but it goes across this time. It's a little bit harder than an on-time double because your partner has to wait a beat for the club to get to them. I also really like doing a javelin throw in a four count. The tricky thing is to remember to catch the club upside down. So you have to set it up one throw early. A helicopter throw also looks pretty cool. It's more difficult to practice than a javelin throw because you need a partner. So for that reason, it's a little bit harder than a javelin throw. This is a trick that audiences really like, a pirouette. Notice that when you do the pirouette, you're not juggling, so you actually have a little bit more time than you think. Picking a club up with your foot is a really fun way to start a club passing pattern. You have to really heave it for it to get to the other side. Also stay tuned to the end of the video because Kirsten and I came up with some fun tricks involving the treehouse. In this trick, I do a half spin without juggling and then I do a drop back where I throw backwards to Kirsten. Even though I'm not juggling when I do the half spin, it's still a fairly fast trick and I have to make a blind throw during the drop back, which is why it ranks high on this list. This trick is called Doctor. And I'll just let y'all watch it and then I'll explain. I stick the light blue club underneath my arm. It's kind of hard to see it, but you can tell that's where it is. Then, instead of passing a club, I place it in Kirsten's hand. As I back away, I have to throw the light blue club from underneath my arm, which is really tricky. Here's a variation of Doctor where I keep placing clubs in person's hands rather than passing them. For doctor variations, your partner's pattern shouldn't change at all. You're doing the weird thing and their pattern should be the same. In this version of doctor, I do a little spin as I'm walking backward. It's only slightly more difficult than the regular version of the doctor, but an audience would still get a kick out of this. Here's our first treehouse trick. Next, we wanted to try passing clubs with Kirsten in the treehouse. The angle was really tight and I couldn't move any farther away because the sun would be in my eyes. I also couldn't really move side to side because the sun would still be in my eyes. It was a bit of a struggle. But with a little bit of practice, we managed to do this really cool trick. This club juggling video was inspired by this comment. Let me know what other videos you want to see. Keep juggling and have fun. 